We first met Brian Van Olken at the Great American Outdoor Show in Harrisburg. He and the inventor of the four-play turkey call, Eric Steinmetz, were debuting the call and drawing quite a bit of attention, even from nationally known professionals like Roland Martin. I made a body with a poplar, a sassafras, a cedar, and a walnut side in it. It'll give you a different densities of woods for a different sound. And I'll give you a little sample. Your, your walnut's always highest. I like that for either locating a bird or uh, uh, possibly a windy day to get out there and love the sound. Yep. You get that out there, they, they can hear it. Your, your popper's a little bit more raspier. You got your... Uh, oh, you just flip that around. You just flip it around. <laughs> okay. Yep, your cedar is... And, and the sassafras is my favorite. It's, it's lower and I can do more with it. Sounds like I can cut pretty good with that, maybe. That's awesome. Four calls in one, man. Brian invited us to his shop and the home of Cutting Edge Game Calls. Cutting Edge Game Calls is a new company um, that was formed in order to build the four-play turkey call initially. Um, we hope to add products down the road, so uh, that's why we had wanted a more of a overall name. So I've made my, my life making stuff, uh, trying to make it nicer than everyone else. And selling quality is sometimes a challenge because people these days, you know, quality is not necessarily something they want to, you know, worry about. Um, to have the opportunity to make something that no one else can make and have it be a great product was just a no-brainer for me. This is by far the most high-tech turkey call workshop I've ever seen. Well, this is a, a CNC, so what this does for us in this process is we'll start out with a blank of wood and you can see it's produced our body which is basically a dog bone shaped piece of wood that will later get machined to receive the rails for the sound the wheel for the front um, the machine is gives us a couple advantages it's quicker but the the biggest advantage is it's spot on you know it's the thousands is what you were looking for right. it's within a thousands you know every piece is going to be you know that similar in size and, and so that that helps us the 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 calls in in themselves i think for everyone who makes calls are tricky because you put some calls together and they just don't sound right for some reason and those calls get put aside right. um, this helps us eliminate you know difference in sizes from that being the, the cause right um, sometimes woods wood you know it's just going to sound different uh, this so this will cut those out for us this is a, the starting point of our project how many are you making there and how long would it take to go from that block to the body you like uh, that will make 80 bodies at a time uh, beginning to end uh, mounting the, the blanks um, to taking the blanks off is probably about a four hour period. So here we have the, the jig set up. This will make our lids. So this is one of our lids here. Um, it will cut out the perimeter shape of it. It will put the hole in for the screw. And we'll also, with a, with a uh, bit change, we'll do our logo, which is the foreplay uh, logo on it. It's absolutely amazing to watch this machine do so much work on this wood, but it's nowhere near complete. There's a lot of hands-on yet to do before we turn that final screw and finish the call. Like I said, there is still a lot more work to be done. Each piece is sanded, and then some are cut and routed before the four sides and the top can be attached. After it came off the machine looking like this, right. then we cut the saddle for the, the wheel, we cut the grooves 
for the rails on, on all four sides, sanded, okay. rounded the edges, and here we are. Okay, what's next? Uh, what's next is that we put in the sound rails. Okay. The sound rails are always going to be located in the same position so that we have consistency again from piece to piece. So walnut and poplar on one side. Right. And then <clears throat> sassafras and red cedar. And that's what makes this call so special. And that's what makes it, yep. So they're obviously, they get glued in usually. Right. They don't just get okay. shoved in there. Right. But then... We're at that point, um, when the glue dries, we take it and we pattern cut it so we get a, a uniform shape. Right. So now we're sanded, we're machined to shape. Now we have to put the wheel in, which is a pretty simple process of locating the wheel, taking the axle, pressing it in. Okay. So now we have the wheel, which is the, the kind of the heart of this whole process. Okay gives us the ability to switch sides and to move on the rails and we'll take a lid a screw a spring <laughs> there you go hours of work yep um, a whole bunch of different tools used and we're just about ready to make a turkey call with that we are, and actually, we've omitted the finishing process. Sure. So each each call gets a, a hand applied finish right. before this is put together like this in in final form. Then it goes from here, and Eric personally tunes up every call. Right. So it sounds great when it goes out to your. To Again, your if somebody wants one of your calls, the best way to get it. Uh, go to our website, uh, fourplayturkeycall.com. Okay. Or you can call us at six one zero nine eight four four zero nine nine. Good luck with your business, man. Well, thank you very That's much. That's a great looking Thanks for stopping call. by.